Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio, laterally unplayable. Um, I've done not necessarily any work since the end of the last episode, but I have done a bit of preparation. Um, so the uh, not the iron, the steel we had. Um, I figured we are going to need some. Of, whoops, we're going to need some of that um, to make the maul that we need to make this um, this episode. So um, I have... Oh, it's just going slower than I expected. So yeah, I've just put in this line. Uh, so where I previously had the chests here, that just now snakes up in a kind of awful spaghetti manner. Um, comes up this way kind of, yeah, dives right through the middle of uh, the production I have for green science there. And we have an area here that we're going to put our mall in. Um, so we're now only about a third of the way up to... Um, only about a third? We are now about a third of the way up to the biters from the end of our production. So do, definitely need to keep an eye on that. Science-wise, we are currently researching the military science pack. So I think it might be a good idea to, after this, queue up a little bit more in the way of damagey stuff. Um, but we can now produce um, piercing rounds, which we will need, indeed, for military science. Anyway, uh, what do we want in our production? So, uh, we want... Uh, let's just have... Let's just approach it from this screen first. Right, we'll need some inserters. We'll need belts as well. Um, I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea just to have a storage place for gears, so I don't need to continually craft them. I have a bad habit of handcrafting gears. And I think that's all we will need. Miners might not be a bad idea to add in. But anyway, let's start off with inserters. So I want to automate inserters, long-handed inserters, and fast inserters. Uh, they need between them uh, plates, gears, and circuits. So we should have a gear production, which um, is only for use by our mall. So have I given myself enough space there? Not quite. Let me move that up by one. Okay. And that is going to pull off from there. We'll have some undergrounds sneak that way. And that is going to come in that way, like that. I'll have, to, I'll have two inputs for now. And I'll give them an output over there, like that. And then on this side, we also want to sneak in some gears and circuits, which I should probably put on, um, wait, that's wrong, that's also wrong, which I should probably put on um, opposing sides of the same belt, I think. So if I do something like this, there we go. So we've got plates on one side, gears on the other, and I think back here, um, I'll move that belt slightly, there we go. Something like this will mean I can also have steel. So we've got plates, gears, steel, and circuits. Okay, uh, that's wrong, that's wrong. Okay, so this one here, we want to make inserters, and then on one side we'll have long-handed, on the other we'll have fast inserters. So this one first, we need plates, gears, and circuits. Plates, gears, and circuits, and we'll stick it into... Um, yeah, we will have a box over there, actually. I should craft some wooden chests to be ready. But this I'm just going to limit to a single stack. They are going to also direct insert into the long-handed and fast inserters. The fast inserters also need plates and circuits. So 
Uh, we'll pinch them from there. Hopefully they'll be able to grab plates. If not, then I'll tweak it, I guess. And similarly, they will output into a chest. This one I will limit to two stacks. This one also wants plates and gears. So we'll give it plates from that side, gears from that side, and output into a chest, which I will limit to two stacks. Okay. Next, uh, I want, uh, let's see. Let's do uh, assembling machines. So I haven't yet done the research for um, automation two. What am I missing for automation two? There's automation one, automation two. Oh, I'm not missing anything, I just missed it. Okay, so we'll add that to the queue. Uh, this one will want assembly machine ones, which wants plates, gears, and circuits. So there's the plates and circuits, there's the gears. Not gonna bother outputting that into a box. Instead, um, we will, so the assembly machine two needs gears and circuits, assembly machine ones, and steel. So this will also take in steel. Uh, no, in fact, we want one there. So, what was it? It was, I can't remember now. Gears, steel, circuits, and assembly machine ones. There's the number ones. Gears and steel and circuits and output into a chest, which I will limit to two stacks. Okay, let's also bring this belt up a bit. Um, I will put miners on this bit as well, on them all. So plates, gears and circuits. Plates and circuits and, ge and gears and output into a box. Limit that to two stacks. Um, let's see, we haven't done power yet. Now these, oh, they, they want iron sticks for them, and copper for that matter. Uh, do I want them? Yes. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do like that. I'm going to need to bring some copper up here, uh, which I will sneak in there. So these two belts will probably have to do something fancy to get around them. But uh, this one is going to make iron sticks. And then when we research them, I'll have one of these making the medium, one's making the large. So they'll both need iron sticks, they'll both need steel, and they will both need copper. Um, and this one needs some iron... is it iron plates he wants? Yes. Okay, and then output into chests. And I'll limit both of the... I'll, yeah, I'll get two stacks of medium and one stack of large chests, I think. Okay, keep that coming up there. What else do I want? Belts. Um, now, belts use a lot of iron. I say belts, uh, when I say like belts in terms of um, in a mall, I also want uh, splitters and underground belts. Uh, how should I do this? Uh, oh, in fact, there's a trick I've seen before that I've never actually used, but you can use it to swap the positions of two belts. So if I do that and say output priority left with circuits, that and then on this side oh, I'll need to make another one there you go um, in fact let's swap this around let's do app priority right to plates uh, copper plates that is so all the copper plates will come out on the right of this one and the right of that one any circuits that go into that will be spat out on the left and the plates will go through and any steel which comes in on that side will be spat out to the left so you can just swap two belts like that. And I've just done that twice in a row. Hmm. Works better than expected. Okay. Now, all of this wants power... Uh, belts, yes, that's what I was going to do. Uh, belts need a metric ton of iron. How close am I getting to the biters? 
Okay. Plenty of space, but the pollution is definitely encroaching. Um, okay, so the standard way of doing this is something like, oh, I need more of them. Something like this uh, with more space. Uh, and okay, so I'm not going to have enough space here to do blue belts. So these ones here will all produce gears, and then these ones will produce the level one belts. These ones will produce the level two belts. Hmm. Let's uh, well, we'll stick down some lights and some power, and get things running at least. So there's the lights and power, we'll just bring up from there. That's a bad place for a light. Okay, that should get things running. Um, let's move that light there and we'll stick a light over this side as well. Okay, that's nice and brightly lit. Okay, so we're making all three levels of inserters. The gears aren't getting far enough yet, but once the inserters are built up, we'll start making the assembly machines, then the miners, then... Uh, in fact, the gears don't actually need to make it this far, so I could... Um, yeah, let's get down a splitter just to save on a little bit of gears. I'm going to do that, and then say output priority left filtered for steel. So any gears that get this far will actually just get split there and then stop. Oh, and we'll also need one in the center there. Okay. Good. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to stop them and add them on the back of that list. Okay. So get to work on automation too, so we can start getting some faster machines. How are we doing for power? Fine at the moment. Um... Okay, let me uh, grab some more stuff for the assembly machine ones that I need to make. Let's just make all of them. In fact, let's grab some circuits so I'm not being stupid about it. It's a little bit faster. Did I? Yeah, I limited them. I'm going to take out that row for the moment. Okay, so the idea here is these ones will make gears, 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 this one will make belts, and that one will make undergrounds, this one will make splitters. So... Uh, the gears... I'll output there and there and there and there. Now, this guy wants plates and gears. This guy wants plates and belts. This guy wants plates, circuits and belts. You know what, let's just do this differently. Let's come up with a new design, if we can. Okay. So if I was doing this in line like this lot, I would have one for gears, and then something like this. So that one would be gears, we would have belts in the middle, and then one there, and one there. Okay, let's just have, oh, we've done automation to it, so logistics to it that gives this one. Yes, the fast underground belts need massive amounts of iron gears. The level 1 belts, they actually don't need that many gears, it's just... Yeah, it's only actual belts that need gears, so I might be able to get away with this. So that one, and then this one needs plates and circuits, this one needs plates. So yeah, if I just bring this belt of plates and circuits up further, give them inputs like that, and like that, 
and there, and there, and there. That doesn't need to go that far, because he doesn't need gears. In fact, oh no, because both of, oh, that, that is right. So don't need that, but they both need belts. Run them up to there. Okay, so this guy needs plates, outputs gears onto the far side of this belt. Okay, he's getting his plates. This guy, uh, let's start with this guy. This guy needs plates and gears. He gets the plates from this side, the gears from this side. It's fine. This guy wants plates, circuits, and belts. He gets the belts from there. He gets the plates and circuits from there. He wants plates and belts. He gets the plates from there, the belts from there. Okay, let's give them all an output. Two, three, and some boxes. One, two, three. Uh, we'll give ourselves two stacks of undergrounds. Four stacks of belts, one stack of splitters. We'll power this up. Oh, and we need one in the middle. Uh, we'll throw down a light. I'll also stick lights on my thing there. And that's facing the wrong way, and I want him to have two inputs. Okay, uh, we've done uh, what we need to make Mark II's. Uh, it's gears he's missing. Gears are still being eaten by the inserters. That's fine. Um, so now if I come down here, I don't need these guys. That gives me a nice stockpile to work with as well. Okay, science is backed up. That's fine. Uh, which means we can probably actually sneak in a couple more. That's the wrong button. Uh, labs. How many labs have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 is a good number to have, I feel. Let's make another 4 of them. Uh, while I'm waiting for those to be made, not that they will take that long, I am going to... Let's see. Where is a good place for this? Okay. As I said, any gears that get this far, they'll just back up. So what I'm going to do is put some of them in a box there. And I'll just limit that to a single stack. So that's a place I can just go and pick up some gears if I ever need to. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to handcraft a few gears. Just put them down on this belt and make sure that works. I don't trust inserters that pick up directly off a splitter. I, that, that wasn't a thing when I first started playing this game, so I always find it difficult to trust. Okay, uh, but they are being made. That's nice. That's working. Okay, so we'll continue our bus up here. Okay, and then I think we can start working on... Um, military science. Okay, yeah, still about a third of the way between the end of the bus and the biters, so we should have enough space for military science, and then I can go up and build a wall. And then, well, before too long, we'll have to start pushing back. Anyway, so military science. Uh, we need piercing rounds, magazines, walls, and grenades. Okay, piercing rounds, magazines, that's effectively just iron, copper, and steel. Grenades need coal, and walls need stone. So I need to bring coal and stone up here. Which would have been much easier if I had planned ahead for that, which I have not done. Okay. Oh, mind you, our iron is looking a little bit lackluster back here. Now, we're not getting a full belt in. But we are using all of our iron deposits. Why are we not getting a full belt? These ones are backed up. Okay, 
I am going to run back up here because I'm apparently out of iron plates. Right, let's just pinch them off the belt. Future me will hate me for it, but I need the iron. So I'm just going to do a very sort of poor man's balancer. Like that. That should hopefully get things moving at least. Get a little bit more iron coming in, so I have at least these miners working. These ones are backed up. Why are these ones backed up? Because we're not using copper fast enough. Interesting. Ah, uh, because we're using... No, we're just not using copper fast enough. Hmm, how can I use copper faster? Because normally the primary draw for copper is circuits, but I don't actually have that much circuit production at the moment. In fact, the only other thing coal, uh, copper is used for so far is to get the um, power poles, which I'm not actually making yet. Hmm. Iron is dreadful at the moment. Oh, that's because <laughs> I ate it off the bus. Fair enough. Hmm. So, yeah, it's not going to be long before we have to go and get this. 8.3 million iron, that's not bad. Uh, it's down here we've got less than half a million. But that will definitely put us in pollution range. Okay, so we might just have to sort of limp through with what we've got at the moment, because I can't really build on that northern deposit until um, we have a defensive wall in place. Okay, let's get back to the matter at hand. What was the matter at hand? Coal and stone. Yes, I need to get that north. So let's calm down here. Let's see, where do we have coal? I know we don't have any stone production at the moment, so I'll have to do that. So we have some coal there. Quite, quite a good amount of coal, actually. And I know we've got big deposits of coal down here. We've got stone there. So yeah, I'll probably pinch the coal from here. So if it manages to get past the power and the iron smelting and the copper smelting and the steel smelting, then that coal will go towards making grenades. Stone. Where can I squeeze stone? Stone is just going to have to come up on this side. Um, so yeah, we'll get... No. Okay. So we'll just put a basic line of them in like that. That's going to have to come across here. We'll go a bit further north. Oops. Can't, have, can't be having that. Underground, scooch across there. And then this is just going to come up along this side. Um... Okay, don't have much space there. Oh, I've got the extra labs that I wanted. Uh, you don't need to come down further than there. Okay, so we'll have them and them as well, and we'll power them. So we'll do science a little bit faster. Okay. And I think that was the electric stuff. Okay, I'll bring this in that far. Okay, so now we've done the electric research, we can switch on these guys. This one was big power poles, this one was medium power poles. And it's iron sticks is the shortage at the moment. Oh, it's iron sticks is the shortage because we're not making iron, but we now have at least one in both of those chests, so that's working. Okay, so there is stone. Now I need to go and get coal. Uh, 
Right. So where is this coal coming from? Here. Okay, so I will get an underground belt and just scooch past that. And in fact, I push that as close as I can, so I'm going to need to do this. So coal is coming up. And once we throw down the miners, we'll have stone coming up as well. And that's me out of belts, but I can do that. Okay, so we've got coal, stone, copper, steel, circuits, and iron. Or nominal amounts of it, at least. Okay, I'll grab them as well, because I'm sure I'll need them at some point. Um, what else? I'm going to need miners, that's right. So we have 16 miners in there, that's more than I need. Okay, we'll just go and throw the stone miners down and power them. Then I don't have to go back south again. Speaking of power, doing alright. Um, what I will do though, while I'm down here, just to save myself another trip a little bit later, um, one of the things I prepared was uh, some more power stuff. So seeing as we're closer than we are at other times, I will go and double power production again. So okay. here we go. So we want one, two, three, four. Uh, you are in the wrong place, sir. Are you? No, it's technically that one is in the wrong place. There we go. I was wondering why the pattern didn't work. Okay, and we want steam engines there and there, and there and there, and there and there, and there and there. Inserters there and there and there and there. And pipes. Oh, apparently I had no pipes on me. Two pipes. Okay. And, yeah, lovely. So now we definitely don't have any power concerns for the moment. How far south does pollution go? Oh, just off the edge, that's fine. We've still got the lake as a wall, and luckily there are no biters that can swim or fly. Coal is not amazing coming up here, I should... Oh yeah, we've only got four miners on this. Uh, I've got another eight miners on me, let's increase our coal production. No, can't have that there. Well, I can, but I don't want to be bothered to split. That's an inconvenient place for those two. Um, no, that's all I had on me. That's fine. Okay, so we will merge these slightly differently. Uh, that will come up there with a splitter and an underground belt that actually comes back on itself. Output priority to the right. Not very pretty, but I suspect that's going to be a theme of this entire series. Okay, so that should prioritise power and then send all the rest up this way. Okay, let's go build some guns. Alright, lots of running backwards and forwards, and in fact, much more running backwards and forwards than there is in any other series, I think, because backwards and forwards, or up and down, the only directions I can run in. Okay, so for the sake of space, let's um, move them across a bit. Okay, so what do we need? So we need five machines making military science, and we need 
Um, so that will give us one per second. Then we need half a piercing round magazine per second, half a grenade per second, one wall per second. I think. Yeah, that works. Okay, so walls first. Uh, walls are made of stone brick. So we need uh, five stone brick per second. Um, so let's just make one of these. Uh, in fact, that's not going to... This is what I need to look at. They are made... Oh, God. 3.2 seconds to make one of them. I need five per second. So... <sighs> I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up the usual one per second. Let me just throw down a bunch of them. How many have I got? Let's throw down... Ten. Ten machines. I've even got the coal here to fuel them, so that's good. Okay. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just straight up like that, with inputs... Inputs, inputs, inputs and oh I need more of them and fuel inputs as well and outputs okay and then we need one of these guys turning that into um, how do I want to do this? I'm going to put that there. So this belt will come up here. And it's actually going to snake around to there. This guy is going to make me some walls. Okay. Um, I am up, Do I have any fast inserters on me? No, I don't. Okay. Let me go and grab some fast inserters. I only managed to grab one stack there, but I think I pushed the wrong button. Um, because, yeah, these are made two every half a second. No, they're made one every half a second, or two a second, so I'm not sure a normal inserter will keep up with the output. Anyway, so we've got walls. Then, what was the other things we needed? It was grenades and piercing rounds. So let's do grenades next. Coal and iron plates. We need one every two seconds, so we need four machines making grenades. Okay, so we'll do one, two, three, four. Four. With grenades. Okay, and we need coal and steel. So we'll bring these lines up, because we need them. Now I'll probably need to bring the stone line up further at one point, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I am going to do the same trick I did before to get iron across to this side. So output priority right, filtering iron plates. Okay, iron is now here. And then, um, is there a clever way of doing this? If I like, split like that, um, we need coal and steel there. Oh, sorry, coal and plates there. Um, might have to do it this way then instead. So if I, in fact, I don't actually think I need coal for anything further up on the bus. So I'm just going to leave that actually, and that is going to come in. there and there like that okay more belts how many belts have I got in these guys 50 you will have to do uh, I'm also going to grab some of them okay uh, yes because I need the medium power poles to power these 
because the small power poles don't stretch that far. Okay, that will start making me some stone bricks. And these will start feeding them to the stone wall machine. I'm going to give that fast inputs times two, actually. Because, yeah, it needs an awful lot of stone bricks to run at full speed. Might have overdone it, but oh well. Okay, and then up here we've got inputs, inputs, outputs, outputs. And oh, that's power I need up here. And then they're going to come down. They're then going to switch the side of the belt they are on and visit the walls. Things might go a lot smoother if I. Um, Where's stack size? Insert a stack size. This one. What do I need for that? Oh, I actually need to get the stack inserted. Oh, that's going to take forever. Uh, okay. Um, oh, we need fluid handling and. Ugh. 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 Uh, is there anything that's useful? Expands inventory. I guess. Landfill, I guess. Nothing I particularly want. Circuit research might be useful to help limit things, I suppose. Uh, ooh, got fig trees. Uh, how are we doing with biters and pollution? Fine. Mind you, these trees are probably half of what's keeping the pollution at bay. I'm just going to chop them down. And then armor-piercing rounds. So they want copper, steel, and firearm magazines, and they're made one every three seconds. So we need two machines doing that. And uh, one machine making just normal firearm magazines, I think, will be fine. So if I go one, two, three. I need to actually make them. We'll do the same trick over here. Output priority left iron plates. Just to save on resources a little bit. Okay, input, no, input iron into that one. And that's the only one that needs iron. Because that is doing firearm magazines. These two are doing piercing rounds. They're going to direct insert in no, that way around. And these also need steel and copper. So let's go and grab them. So they are on these two lines at the moment. No, I need more belts than that. I need way more belts than that. Okay, steel and copper. Um, right, so let's do another switcheroo here. I'll take iron back to the left. So now I've got steel and copper on these lines. Um, so we'll split off whichever one that is and go underground for a bit. We'll then split off this one and that'll come around that way. So now we've got steel and copper together on this line. And we'll give you an input and an input and I think oh no you need five copper plates, so I'll give you two inputs. Okay, let's give you some power as well, keep you happy. And some light so we can see what we're doing. I don't know why I have iron on this belt. I shouldn't have. Must have just been before I put the filter in. OK, 
Okay. So I think that should work. I'll keep an eye on it because there was some wonkiness with where the iron plates were going. So it's copper side steps to the right, steel side steps to the right, get copper and steel, copper and steel. Okay, that all looks fine. We'll have some outputs there and there. They want some power as well because they're greedy like that. I've run out of small power poles. No, 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 not there. Next to it. Why are you? Oh, because the output belt's full. That's fine. Um, I'll just hop under that. Okay, so now we have all of the materials we need. Now we just need to actually make the um, make the military science. How many? Of... Twenty-one. I'll, I'll let that build up. We're doing all right with the Mark Ones at the moment. They're cheaper as well until we get some better iron coming in. Uh, how many did I just make? I think I only made the four. Oh, because I could only afford four. That would explain why I made four. I want five of them. And where should we have this? It'd be nice if I could squeeze that in one more, but I can't. Alright, well, we'll have it there. One, two, three, four, five. I'll have them come down thusly. Uh, in fact, I'm going to swap that bit around. Because I want you to come one, two further. And I'm going to put some of them in a box as well. Um, just uh, five stacks, so that should be a thousand. And I need more belts. Going to need more belts than that. How many have I got in here? 26, it'll do for now. Alright, military science. Zoop. Inputs. And inputs. And power. You want to be filtered to them. And let's get bigger one up there so we can reach everything and outputs and power okay and now making military science we want to bring this down so where are we going to put this well, we're going to come down here towards where we're actually making the science I'm going to hop under there I'm going to keep coming south and let's see what's going on there. Well, that's silly because that goes one further to the right than it needs to. So what I will do, uh, what I'll do, is I'll just put the green science in a little bit higher up. There, and then military science will come down on this one. And then the military science can feed in there. So this belt now needs to come all the way down here. And we need to give these a way to input into the labs. Yeah, you just put that there. Okay, so, belts, 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 which means iron. Uh, I'll pinch the gears from there, that'll speed things up a bit. Um, make all of them. Pinch these belts, not using them for anything at the moment. Any extra belts I've got up here? 16, yeah, maybe a little helps. So 
so slow. Now I'll just fill this lot in. Okay, and then we now should have military science working. As well as a stockpile of um, the armor piercing rounds and we're making walls. I, I'm going to stockpile some walls as well. Um, we're not actually making turrets. It used to be the case, of course, that military science required turrets, which made it nice and simple to um, stockpile them after you've made military science. But we will have to um, do that a little more manually, so to speak. I will set up some automation of them there. I'm going to stockpile some walls, uh, in fact, so we've got 24 wide I think it was, and each wall is, oh, if I pinch them, uh, where'd they go, there, I think it was 24 wide, yeah, so let's, in fact walls stack to 50 is it? Oh no, they stack to 100, so yeah, I don't need more than a single stack and that will be enough for two lines of walls. Um, in fact, 24 wide, 100 will be enough for four lines of walls, which is plenty. Okay, so we're now slightly less than halfway um, from the end of our production to the biters. And there's not many more trees in the way. But we have m production of military stuff. Um, so let's just continue doing research in order. Uh, I've changed my mind. Fluid handling requires the engine, then fluid handling, then oil processing, then plastics, then advanced electronics, and then what else do I need from here? Logistics 2. Then I can get stack inserter. Not for the actual stack inserter, but it allows me to unlock inserter capacity. Um, there. <laughs> Miles down the line. Um, but yeah, we can get that far without blue science. Anyway, uh, this episode has gone on quite a little bit longer. My counter is at 38 minutes, and I forgot to start my counter at the beginning of the episode, so we've probably closed three quarters of an hour. But I will leave it here. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.